Hello and good evening everybody. We are back. My name is Lucas. This is Lucas G Variety and actual play Band of Blades, the Immortals. We have returned for our session numero, I think it is 12 if I got it right, called Enter Blighter. So we're back. Today is November the 11th, 2021. And first and foremost, I would just like to say to all those who have been in the armed services, past, present and future, both in America and over across the pond and anywhere for that matter. Thank you very much for serving. You're appreciated. Dan, thank you for being in the Air Force. We salute you. <laughs> you can't get away. You're right there. <laughs> and thank you very much. We appreciate it. God bless you all. And now we're going to go back to playing fake soldiers in our <laughs> dark military fantasy campaign and try not to get murderized. So I thank you for joining. I'll join over to the Lord Keeper for a little recap. And we don't have a lord keeper. Yes, you are. I didn't do it. You're I still, it you're, you're still a lord keeper. But I didn't do it. Last you, time. You, well, someone's got to recap last session, or or we can just jump in and be like, screw that, let's just play. Is that what you guys want to do? Is that what you're telling screw me? Screw that, let's just play. Oh, he said it. Okay. Well, last time was our Halloween spectacular. It was all a dream, but everything is real. Now. So, here's what happened. Blighter herself, along with a whole bunch of troops, have actually attacked the Legion's camp. They have been noticing a choking fog move in. And what actually happened is there's something about it that has cast a lot of people into a dreamlike sleep. We focused on four of our characters last time from random different groups. All Legionnaires, one specialist, and three soldiers slash rookies. They fought their way through the dreamscape. And have come back into reality as they woke up in the camp right where they had fallen asleep at. To notice that there's other legionnaires still in this dream sleep. But others are rallying a cry because suddenly the whole camp is swarming with undead. Let me get back down to my notes here. Notes. So you guys have taken a moment of silence for Black Standing Storm the Panyar that you had lost in the mission before. The primary mission had troops had come back, reported this. The secondary mission troops are not there. So the Grinning Ravens and Adorna are not available right now, Marshall, because they are not yet returned to camp. But everybody else is. So as uh, Nucket and Yox, Blue Biting Cone and Contessa are all waking up in the various spots and are seen looking at each other, maybe... Maybe not, because they're across camp from each other. They see there's a few fires burning. This choking fog is here. Undead are swarming the camp. We got crows. We have rotters. Spitters. The infamous named Whaler. This huge 10-foot horror that just has like nine heads and arms and mouths. And it's just screaming and ear-piercing whales everywhere. And then, of course, the broken herself who stands with crows and rotters surrounding her, you thought, well, maybe she's that other human that works for Blighter. But no, because this woman's standing almost eight feet tall herself, bandoliers of tonics and tinctures. She looks just dark and ominous. She's got pouches all over, a long curved dagger in one hand. And she's just kind of smiling and cackling as her minions stroll across the camp crashing into everybody now we've discussed this most people are playing the same character except for dan is going to switch into someone new who would that be i'm going to if it's allowed i'm going to jump over to red growing shrew from the star vipers go for so, it all right she's untouched i'm assuming it's well we're going to go with the male but nice kid so we got us a new rookie joining the fray and so the rally cry has gone up. All these undead are swarming into the camp. The bandits you've been training into rookies have taken up arms. They're just trying to survive together. The mother and father of that new baby girl, which is the cry that kind of helped draw you through that foggy dream, are taking up weapons and other commoners, the laborers, the people that follow you around, even good old Zorm himself, who's just the camp medic. He's just like, Where, where's my hat? Where's, oh, undead. Oh, where's, uh? And... It's just going crazy as people are just kind of discombobulated and just trying to get their heads wrapped around it. The command staff come bursting out themselves, who 
in my opinion, would all be at least specialists with two or three upgrades apiece. We might stat them out at some point, but we'll see about that, right? So Marshall, Marshall Dua, what does he look like as he comes storming out? What's so, he, um, he probably comes kind of crashing around the, the side of camp um, atop his horse and um, with one of the squads, I would imagine, like one of the ones who were probably farthest back when this all happened, he quickly would like rally them and uh, they'll come in as like a, a flanking force to try and build some sort of perimeter. And I mean, were you hoping for like some role play or just exposition? Yeah, just kind of some exposition, just kind of just give us a picture of what the command staff, what they look like in their fighting prowess and when they take up arms and actually join into the fray. Because kind of what we see as we build this this picture, you know? Yeah, I think he kind of leads a charge of maybe like um, a ha um, close to 10, I'd say, um, hmm. horseback riders, and they kind of crash into um, a wall of undead. And Rashi's right up front kind of swinging his saber. It's, it's the iconic like horse kind of okay. uh, rearing back as he swings down and like the blood goes spattering. All right. Over and he's yelling down, you know, steady. All right. Rather than fast. Who what's what's the what is quartermaster Alexander Morriston? What's his fighting style? What's he what's he what kind of armor? What's he doing? Well quartermaster well um uh, Alexander Morriston, he wears kind of like a like almost like a half plate kind of setup. Mm. Like he's got like the breastplate but everything else under it is kind of more cloth or uh chain mail. And his fighting style is very much uh, more of a relaxed style, you could say. Okay. He's not he's not doing you know a traditional fighting style. He's kind of just winging it as he goes. What kind of weapons is he using? Uh, right now he's probably using a you know a, uh, some sort of you know long sword, and the environment around him as he takes a barrel and <laughs> smashes it over like three undead. Okay. Is he guarding? Is he guarding the? Is he still guarding the quartermaster tent, or is he actually in the fray? Oh no, he's guarding the quartermaster tent because he's got the mind of, sure, we can kill them all. If we run out of food, we die. Still. No, I, I just kind of thought that he would still be there, right? Um, mm -hmm. all right. In the doorway, just fighting from the doorway. Every time you take a step out, you're like, whoop, 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 whoop. What's yeah. that? Yeah. You know, in between, in between, you know, attacks on the tent, he's kind of just. Put, he's got the tip of his sword down the ground. He's kind of just, he's kind of sat down, leaning on it, like, "All right, next one." Come line. close, someone. Come close. Someone <laughs> I'm not coming towards you. You're coming to me. Um, what about the uh, Lord Keeper Colors? How what is what's is, is she a specialist? Even I mean, I kind of like yeah. some picture of that, but I feel I, like I was. You tell me. When I, when I created her, she was supposed to be. Hold on, let me open her up. She's a young. Soft, ink stained, with a warm personality girl. So <laughs> she's not a combatant. Okay. She's maybe she's maybe flailing with a giant book, but it's ineffectual at best. Okay. Hey, but whatever. I just want to get that picture. What about the spy master Foxwell? So Foxwell has sort of booted open the tent, and unlike everybody else who's being very, very much the you know, very model of the modern age general, the man is fighting like a man possessed, right? The guy very clearly is no noble sort of born welt. He's got like, like every now and again when he sort of gets kicked back by a thing, he drops, he grabs a handful of like powdered dirt, throws it at them. <laughs> He's like throwing like chairs, like breaking chairs and throwing them at them. It's, it's almost like an animal is just like charging into the fray. This very quiet, sort of mild mannered, tempered, very sort of shy person is just like going batshit crazy at them. Okay. I love it. Uh, a couple characters come to mind that reminds me of, but we'll, we'll keep moving here. And finally, Commander Melisla Vishna. Well. He is flamboyancy on top of flamboyancy. He rushes out. He has a pair of rapiers in his hand. <laughs> and he's just literally just dancing, swinging, he's kicking up. He's, he's, he is um, 
musketeer style flamboyant with this he's mm. cheering everybody on and he is just like ha ha there's another one for me and he's just lopping heads with his not supposed to be sharp rapier as he swings around all right the lads these things are so easy to kill and make a what, pile for me and so and i can get like two squads of riders that just like burl on top of him and yeah <laughs> I feel like they're doing this thing, and then he kind of just slips out the back of the pile, and they're just like... Start stabbing. Yeah. <laughs> what great fun. What great fun we're having here. Um, it and is. It doesn't, still doesn't look good because there's so many, right? There's Like I said, there's crows, commanding riders. There's a couple of horrors, which are already monstrosities anyway, but then you have the infamous horror, which is known as Whaler. And it just, it's just like knocking carts aside, backhanding some legionnaires go flying. Um there's some spitters that are just blasting the camp with their acid bile. Blader herself just sits there and like has a little tincture, like a little vial in her hand, and she's just like shaking it. Oh, it goes from the green screen. Nice. I guess it's it is green aloe. Um, she's just kind of sitting there, just kind of waiting, and it doesn't look good. You guys, everybody's trying to form up or trying to get into a rank or trying to get into groups. You guys are all from different squads mostly, and you kind of all find yourselves together. Yox goes marching off doing something as you take over red what's what's her uh what's his name red growing shrew red growing shrew okay mm -hmm. um a can... younger younger ponyard that his body is covered in red and yellow stripes oh okay it's his animal feature what kind of no animal? no fur no fur just okay. stripes for some reason he's got stripes a rookie oh, skin it'll be rookie mm -hmm. yep okay he is a um I put him as every inja, so he is starting with all the traits of his heritage. Alrighty, and up to medium load, you can pick up too. Yeah, so normal, alright. Yep, or normal, I say medium, I meant normal, yep. Everything is discombobulated and scattered, and everybody can, you already have a gut feeling that this is not going to go well, but you see Blighter who's just kind of like smiling, and actually let me just check one thing. Um, real quick here. Whoops, sorry. Because uh, I always forget these stats. Okay. Just when you feel like it's hopeless, and we're going to get into the rolling and all that, um, as you guys kind of find yourselves fighting back to back, coming together, um, as you feel like it, it, it's going to be hopeless, you have this renewed vigor to start to enter your veins and you kind of you don't hear it but you feel it and you kind of look to your east and blader who's standing her face and you looks to her left as she suddenly stops smiling and she turns to her left as you are looking to your right and like i said it's a choking thick fog you can barely see in front of you there's a few campfires going that kind of push the fog away a little bit but otherwise it's still there but you see 50 feet out, 40, 30, bracing at breakneck speed um, into your camp. You see this tall mount with these blazing blue eyes. And the whole thing is shrouded by what seems like silver moonlight. And everybody's hackles, goose pimples stand up as you know that this is your chosen. This is Shreya. Who is running or riding with breakneck speed into battle? Is she coming in to the song Rawhide? <laughs> As she can be. <laughs> Rawhide! Oh, I have a whip crack. I got that whip crack song in my uh, thing on my. Let's see. It's flesh blader. Yeah, blader. What was her yeah, name? I've been all these bladers. Oh, yes. Okay. So suddenly this tall huge mount this horse the, the black horse with the blazing blue eyes she rides bursts into camp and she's just she has her like super long pole arm she got her samurai style armor on like that shredder helmet you know that full plate mm -hmm. samurai stuff she got like that eight foot long pole arm with like a foot and a half blade on the front and she just cutting down some things as she rides into camp and she looks at the commander and she's like commander this is your charge, but I suggest you take care of Whaler. I will take Elanessa myself. 
and he dramatically spins around one rotter, like holding its neck under his arm and uses the wedge to snap its head off the neck. Right away, madam. Good hunting. <laughs> right on me, man. And she rides yeah. in a, she rides into a crowd of spitters and they just like acid golf all over her horse. The horse seems to like take damage but and get pissed off, but charges and through the, <laughs> just stomps over these things and she jumps out and suddenly eight foot tall woman is looking at other eight foot tall woman in a standoff. And you guys, you know, sometimes <laughs> battle and passion are, are one and the same. But you guys know the story, the history of these two. They used to both be chosen. The Blighter was once a chosen name, Alanessa, before she was broken by the Cinder King. And her and Shreya were, of course, lovers. They were what the songs and the poets and the ballads were all about. They were the epitome of that relationship. And then, just like all happy stories, seems like their love story was broken when later herself is broken this may be the first time they've seen each other since that time and they stand off looking at each other so now i tell you as the battle commences and the story part is done you guys have a couple options here um i lost it Uh, i got it don't worry don't worry you guys can either take out line troops Crows, whores, spitters, rotters. You can focus on Whaler. Or you can fight alongside Shreya and try to defeat and push back Blighter. They're all different clocks. There's different ways of doing this. They all have different effects. And you guys can split up or work together. So as you guys are all find yourselves back to back, I don't think there's a specialist among you. Really, I think you just have a soldier named Nucket is the only soldier. <laughs> oh this is Nucket's last stand. <laughs> Could be. We're, I, I mean, if we survive, we'll have a couple more soldiers after this. <laughs> so you guys tell me what you want to do. There is, like I said, I'm putting crows and rotters together as a group, but there's horrors, there's spitters. And if you need a reminder of any what these things are, let me know. And then there's Whaler himself. Or itself, and then Blighter. Who wants to come? Who wants to come beat up on Whaler with me? Oh, nah. yeah, I mean... Who wants to come beat up on the Broken with me? <laughs> One last final charge. I mean, I was definitely thinking that, but uh, I I don't know if we can actually take take Blighter out. I think we'll just annoy her and we'll make her leave. But probably yes. But counterpoint on this, right? Mm-hmm. We know they're lovers, right? So. If we go there and we distract them, we say, like, ha ha, you go you went to kill your ex-lover? Well, I'm going to stab you in the face. That way, we might die, but there's a higher chance that they will also die when our champion, you know, stabs them good and proper. We are going to sacrifice ourselves for the greater good of this blasted war. Yes, yes, not, 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 not. Maybe we're looking over the true remedy to this situation. True love's kiss. All right, you get to kiss her. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean the chosen. <laughs> Do you believe that just... love can bloom on a battlefield? Pretty sure it missed anti-taint. You want to kiss a tainted thing, though. Yeah, I that's, think we could actually that's out kill of Whaler, is, is what I'm saying. Like, we could actually kill that dude. Yeah, I'm going after the Whaler with you. So... How it works is Whaler has a clock. You feel you just defeat it, right? All the other line troops have their own clock. Elites have their own. You can defeat them. What's going to happen with Blight? I see, see the two clocks. I put their Blighter's forces and Shreya's forces. Whoever's clock feels first loses. So I will be making fortune rolls for both sides. Shreya rolling her four dice and Blighter rolling her five dice, and they will fill each other's clock as they go back and forth. So they'll be fighting in combat. So if someone fights alongside Shreya, it'll be like a group action where you'll add your one or two dice to try to get, you know, make a better roll. That's basically how that's going to be. Mm-hmm. So, and we'll narrate accordingly. If you're fighting Whaler, it'll be just like a normal fight, and same with any of the line troops. Does that make sense? So raise your hand if you're fighting against 
Whaler. I got two of you, I think, right? Yep. And then raise your hand if you're fighting against Blighter, possibly. <laughs> Now, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Such a terrible a... idea. Not only are you fighting uh, a broken, you're also splitting the party. <laughs> yeah, but if we win, right, highest uh, uh, sort of threat level of the highest thing we fought, very yeah. high, loss of XP. <laughs> now, you know, that's outside the system's rank. <laughs> we're a few lucky sixes away from just turning this entire campaign on its head. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll just, you know, we'll now, just, you know... Uh, no, we accidentally killed Blighter. Now we only have one broken to defeat. Let's, mm. Let's just turn the tide. Sure, sure. Exactly. Um, Marshall, uh, if you uh, if you wish, I will give you a squad, a, f a full squad of five or whoever's around to follow you. Oh, everybody froze, which means it's really me that froze. Can you guys still hear me? No, oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. He hit something. Yeah, here I am. Hit something. There we are. I was going to say, Marshall, I will give you a squad of your choice to follow uh, you and Red into battle so that you are not going at it alone. That's up no, to you. I like me and Red better. Just you and Red by yourselves? Yeah, a couple of rookies. Thank you, sir. Just hooking it. We can do Hook. it. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Oh. Believe it. Okay. The power of teamwork. I'm, Roar! I'm, I will say out loud just once that I'm it's a super, to a cat somehow. super yeah. bad idea, probably. Um, but you may do what you want to do. Um, I think I'm related to a cat, but also snakes with red and yellow together kill a fellow. So I don't know what I am. <laughs> yeah! No, but in all seriousness, I think it might be a good idea if we did get a squad to sort of help cure the big thing, maybe. I don't know. Probably. Might be a good idea. You, anyway, you have, a, you, you have a chosen helping you. You don't need any I squads. Do. Yeah, we're going to bump. We're, remember, we're bumping the chosen up technically since they count as like a, a like what, category four enemy? Yeah, they're on four or five. Chosen is the same level as uh, the lieutenants. So actually, the broken are one step higher than chosen. So the. Yeah, so. And we technically, since there's two of us, we boost them up, right? Yeah, Blighter's a threat five. Just want to let you know. And uh, Shreya's a threat four. So that's why she's rolling four dice, Blighter's rolling five. If your both rolls together go badly, just like normal, if they're not sixes, at least a six in there, you will face repercussions of a threat five scale two. Yeah, it's like instant death. I'll give you guys that you're even scale, but your threat level comparatively... As two rookies, you guys are threat one. That's at least a lethal f level four harm. Plus, if it's uh, not two rookies, there's a soldier. A oh, soldier, soldier and a rookie. You're yeah. still threat one, and <laughs> <laughs> you're probably looking at instant kill if <laughs> it's, <I'm... laughs> it's just going to be nasty. <laughs> uh, okay, right. So, so. I'm just so. giving you all the information so you make the yeah, proper yeah. team right. fighting decision. Now, if but Marshall I... allows you to have a, a squad, that's fine. That's up to the Marshall, though. I'll give you guys a squad. Yeah. Knock it. You better take care of them. Yeah. Have them back by midnight. <laughs> if you, whatever you say, boss, I was going to crump her real good. Do you want to give him what's left of the ghost owls? Just give him the shattered lions because that's what he belongs to. Uh, I give, um, yeah, I'll give no, him what's left of the ghost owls. There's some, there's some hardened folk. Well, isn't Contessa from the ghost owls? Um. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah so you, you, get, you get two more rookies. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna give them the. Uh... Just not the Green Ravens because they're not there. Yeah, it can't be the Ravens. I need me lads, boss. The stags. They haven't done anything in forever. So yeah, the stags. Silver stags. Silver stags. Yep. And then stags. you two are not taking a a group with you then. No. You're going at Whaler. Just two rookies and Whaler. And a, and, and a prayer. <laughs> oh, good luck. Not much of a prayer, but it was definitely going to be a fun time. All right, so. Not us, but somebody. The Silver Stags line up behind Contessa, who's not with her group, and Nucket, who seems to be leading the charge. So, Nucket, I feel like you probably have to roll for you, and Contessa is going to have to roll for the rookies, probably as part of her role. Let's begin. Whaler comes smashing through the camp and just going for anything chaotically. 
Like he's got a, a head on his arm as he backhands someone. The mouth is like biting them and throwing them away. And you see Shreya, who basically said, I want LNS. I'm not sure if he calls her, which was Blighter's true name at one time. They're standing off. And Blighter is just kind of like, she's lost that smile now. And she's just like, oh, lover. I've been waiting to embrace you with death's kiss. Shreya just doesn't say anything. And Blighter's just like, minions and all these troops just go charging at Shreya to get in between her and her quarry and Shreya just steps forward and just starts spinning that eight basically nine foot long pole arm it just sounds like thick and it's like a giant propeller as she just mows into him so between your two groups you guys decide who goes first and what you want to do gunshots sword clanging on sword, screams, all kinds of weird smells. Sorry. I think we should get our deaths out of the way. I think we should get our deaths out of the way, yes. <laughs> I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. Heaven so, or hell, either way, we're going there quickly, boys. Mm-hmm. Right, hello, high water. So, I will roll. I'm not sure if they can roll here. Oh, roll so fortune. Can... Perfect. So can, so can technically um, our chosen lead a group action? Yes, that's what she's doing. Yep. Okay. You will just be a part. Um, you'll be rolling that assistant die. That you know. Yeah. It's actually a for- fortune roll. So you guys will want to pick. I'll let you pick the stat. Probably skirmish, but it might it might be shoot. Uh, uh, I'm good for whatever. If I get maneuver, the, I mean, yeah. I'm good for whatever skirmish, shoot, or maneuver. I'll, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say you guys have to do the same thing. Where she's rolling a fortune roll, you're gonna have to pick the same roll to do together. All right. I I think in that case let's go with maneuver because we'll kind of like try to clear them out of her way. You know. Yeah. Give her a clear path. We're less going to go stab the thing, fortune and roll. more just let her stab it. Yeah. Oops. We're gonna run interference. Yep. Uh, what's the effect? Uh, you can just do, well, oh no, it's zero. Not, it's, <laughs> well, you're assisting her, so we're just going to say it's risky standard for now, unless it gets really bad narratively. Um, okay. All right. Risky standard. Any, uh, any uh, sexy bonus dice? Any devil bargains you got for us? Uh, matter of fact, no? I, okay. as a matter of fact, I do. I wrote some down ahead of time. A hey, blader got a six. Yep. That's let me, fun. Let me roll Shreya for real quick. We just need we just two, sixes. two sixes. Yeah. This might work, especially since we did maneuver and I get an additional dice for maneuver. Oh, well, we got. We're, we're kind of tied. We're tied. That's uh. Good. That would be, uh, what, three ticks to each side. <clears throat> but you guys have a chance of getting a crit and making it better. Um, right. Sexy Devil Bargain is going to be that there will be... Well, this is what I'm going to offer every time. And this is something that's going to be an out-of-character meta group decision. But there's going to be a super hard decision to make when the battle is done. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. But there's going to be bad choice A... And bad choice B. And I'm going to let you guys shoot. At the end of the battle, you'll make a decision. So that's going to be on the table for every Devil's Bargain. You might just want you just say, Lucas, I want to take the hard decision. It's only going to be a one-time thing. So once it's used, it's gone. No. Um, like individual or? That's going to affect the entire Legion. Okay. So that's on the table for both groups at Ominous. any time. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm like, Dom's going to be like, I'm going to take that right away. because <laughs> Because Dom, that's what Dom does. Um, there is gonna yeah. one one devil's bargain is gonna be that I'm gonna. There's a clock I have going for where the legionnaires begin to distrust the leadership, and I'm gonna put two ticks on the clock, because they're gonna be like, why did we get attacked? Why weren't you protecting us? Look at all of us who died. How uh, many ticks is that clock? Uh, I think it's six. That's really big if that if that comes to fruition. Yeah. What's the um? What's the pushing for stress? 
Wait, how does that work? Uh, two stress for a die. Yep. I'll do that. You're gonna yeah. take two uh, stress. I'll push for that. Okay. Well, that two stress yeah. goes down to one stress because I'm maneuvering. Oh. It's tricky. Yeah. Tricky. <laughs> yeah. But I would say a maneuver but... risky standard will be for you guys. All right. So I got a six from each side. I didn't know. No, fuck. Uh, do I have to roll so, anything for the rookies? What's that? Do I have to roll anything for the rookies? Uh, your account calls for the rookies. Your okay. roll counts for the rolling with the rookies. So, basically, okay. if something bad happens, they're going to get taken out, you know? But, yeah. you would basically have cost a stress for Shreya, which I'm not keeping track of unless it starts to add up. I'll keep it kind of a mental track. Mm -hmm. So, you guys didn't... She can't be stressed. She's the chosen. Mm -hmm. Sure. So that was three ticks. Well, I'm really winging this here. I kind of like planned it out in my mind, but then I'm like, wow. Uh, what'd you get yourself and into? Then we showed up. Dun, dun. So you guys maneuver and push back several riders to the side, take out a few crows, you know, and you can narrate whatever you want. Gives Shreya an opening to jump ahead. And Shreya actually does a, you know, with her, like this flashy lightning fast pole arm. And, but Blighter is, is you know, <laughs> Blighter is <laughs> super quick. At one point when the spear's coming right at her, she just picks up a rodder and holds it in front of her and it gets stabbed instead. And she pushes Shreya off and manages to step back. And she's like, you're faster than I remember. I like that. And she like takes that tonic that she's had in her hands this whole time. And she just like pops it and drinks it. And just this puff of smoke, or no, she starts to w waver, and sh and basically, if you think of mirror image from D and D, she splits off into like four or five, let's say like five versions of herself, and suddenly there are five blighters standing there in the battlefield. It's like, hmm, who's the real one? Can you tell? Do you know me so well? And so there's just this mockery. Shreya says nothing, and it's just in a fury. But you guys, if Everybody who was feeling like, oh no, we're about to lose. Once Shreya came in, glowing like the moon, because that's one of her effects, she also has that ferocity, which is her other effect. And you guys were like filled with this. You were filled with it, with this own this like this rage, this rage venom, just starts coursing through everyone's veins, and everything gets this like kick of adrenaline. And maybe that's just why, like, yeah, we can take on Whaler ourselves. Yeah, let's just go fight the broken. Why not? And everybody yeah. just seems renewed. Even like the laborers and the bandits and everybody that's in your camp are just like, ah, and everybody's rallying and coming into groups and fighting back. All right. <laughs> Commanders, meanwhile, still been on his little sugar high jumping around going, oh, oh, everyone's finally got on with my vigor. All right, let's do this. <laughs> uh -huh. Stabs another uh -huh. one in the face. I should have like had three you or four heads on the end of its stick. Ah, ah. <laughs> I should have had you guys stand out your specialist. I should have. Anyway, you know what? It's time to see what the other two are doing as you go after Whaler. Tell me, tell me. What is your... So, like, he's just, like, he's there. We, we're aware of his presence. Oh, yeah, there's... It's, it's huge. This thing is a huge monstrosity. And just ripping apart people and things, you know. There's obviously some death, even if it's not legionnaire death. There are people that are dying. He just crushes this dude underfoot, and just comes. And unless you got his attention, he's just kind of randomly attacking. So Red girl in is like runs that stands next to uh, next to you, and he's like, "Um, I was really excited for this a moment ago, but." Now I'm kind of scared of that thing. <laughs> but we can't miss it. It's the size of two houses. Looking into death size is like a game of chicken. He who looks away first is sure to lose. If we don't deal with that thing, this camp is done for. Well then. Age before and beauty. <laughs> I want to um, look around. Now, I've heard it through the grapevine. I remember being mentioned a few times. There, there's um, a construction project going on to build some catapults, siege weaponry, similar. Yes, that was one of our, I think. 
Mike, could, I think that, yeah. Mike can tell you better is. than me. We can still say there is, though. It's fine. Yeah. It's a long-term um, project for something. Like, I, I think it's definitely still in production, but could we say there's, like, one of the, like, half-finished models nearby? I'm okay with that. Quartermaster? Uh, yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll look at, I'll look, um, I'll look at, um, Shrew's weapon. What, what, what is Shrew's weapon? Shrew's weapon is listed as family weapon. Um, hmm. I'm going to say it's a pair of daggers that are shaped like, uh, lion's teeth. Ah, ah just what we yes. need. <laughs> I'll look at your little daggers. <laughs> I'm not sure those are going to get the job done. We need something. And then I'll look at the catapult. <laughs> Bigger. Perfect. Do you think you could lure him over here? Looks at you, looks at the thing. Not if I don't look, it not, or not if it looks away first, right? <laughs> Somebody was listening. <laughs> <laughs> he dashes forward. No, I guess, I'm befo like, before you leave, I'll, like, oh, grab you by the, the shoulder points. in one last moment. I can see it in your eyes. You're a true panyar. Time to show them what we can do. And I'll slap you on the back as you head along your way. <laughs> I love so, this. It's red I and my starting points, but let me finish that real quick. So you have red and blue as far as uh, our panyar here. So is there a setup action going on? Are you trying to like give him a um, like, how's so it? So I want to like go towards the catapult and basically start rigging it. Um, mm. The plan is, you know, you have your lever like over here and it, it like snaps and throws. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is like basically make it so it doesn't throw the rock. It just hyper extends and completely smashes down on the other end. Oh, that's it's like a mouse trap kind of action. I right? love it. So you want to rig that right now to do it. Yeah, I'm sure it's like half functional, but um, you know, I'm not just an artisan. I'm, I'm the artisan. This is, oh. this is blue biting cone. We're talking about here. All right. Well, maybe you have some equipment that'll help you. So I would say, let's, let's look at your action first. You're going to rig, right? Uh, yes. You have to do it to quick. start getting this trap ready. You have to do it quickly and you have to make it effective and it's only half built. So I would say that you're, it's at least risky because there's a lot going on. And I think right now your position would be limited because it's half built and you have to do it quickly. So you might get a limited effect on this creature, but you can always try to boost that to make an exceptional effect or whatever for when it does go off. So it's just luring the creature there. And then you're going to, which if Dan is successful luring the creature there, the trap can go off as planned and yeah. do, do that said damage. Um, I think that's kind of how we have to play it. So I guess you, you're going to start with Risky and Limited, and you can tell me how you want to build from there. So is this the setup action, or is this straight into a rig that hits the clock? Uh, I guess. So your rig, I guess, because it's not actually hitting him, but I guess it does sound more like a setup action. No, 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 I think it should be its own thing. But, I mean, rig literally one of the one of the little subtitles is repair siege weapons so okay uh, no i think that's the right role um okay i but you have to get whaler to you in order for it to go off so whatever yeah, effect you end up rolling with success if you get whaler there that's how much damage i'm just going to tick off him so if you can make it great effect that's three ticks if it hits him you know you just got to get red or sorry yeah get red to get it there it's got to help blue. So you're, you're basically, your success is you're rigging this thing to hyperextend and smash whatever you, whatever is in front of it when you launch it. So that's all you have to do is make that so that will do that thing when you want it to do that thing. Yeah. So that's what, I, we just need you to figure out how successful it's going to be. Right now, like yeah, I said, so it's, it's a limited effect to get that. Um, Can I like do some things to kind of bolster that then yeah that, that's uh, that's that's right i started okay. where you're starting and so, then depending on what you want to use out of your gear or whatever so we're in we're in like a military camp right now mm -hmm. it's fair to say there's probably like some weaponry like hand weaponry around me blades and whatnot. Oh, sure. 
I want to start just grabbing as much as I can and like loading it into the basket of the catapult. <laughs> oh, so there's more damage to be done when it comes down. Yeah. I mean, I'd fill it with rusty blades and razor needle or um, use needles if I could, but uh, sure. Don dad love that stuff. Um, would that, that'd probably make him stronger now that I think about it. We'll just, we'll, we'll put you at a uh, risky standard at this point <laughs> for your role. Okay. And then you can, uh, yeah, sorry. And I'll say you can push for effect. You can trade position for effect. You can, well, devil's bargain gives you an extra die. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you could push for effect or push for an extra die. Um, can I trade position for effect? Oh yes. And push for effect. Uh, you can trade position for effect to make it desperate, great, and then take two stress to make it uh, desperate extreme. Desperate extreme, which would be a yes. f which would be five ticks. Yeah, you can. You better roll six. <laughs> you better be you better roll. A six. He always rolls sixes. That's true. That's what he told us. All right, this is getting to be crazier than I thought. I love it. So are you making me have to up my ante on how goofy my thing so is. So Blue Bite is taking two stress, <laughs> which looks like he's done pretty well on that so far, so that's all right. Well, Jocks took most of the stress. That's why mm -hmm. it's <laughs> He was at one, he had one point left before he was hitting stress out range. He can at least, he hasn't taken his first trauma yet, so you should have that in the back burner. But he had four corruption as well. Mm. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's take a break from Yox. All right, Dom, you ready? Are you still thinking? Oh, am I making this roll now? Yeah, I would say right so. On. It's, it's just uh, okay, you just so got to you just got to have red, red's got to get red or someone's got to get Whaler there. But this is the damage that you will do. How successful it would be? Um, what can I do for extra dice? You said Devil's Barkin, maybe for an extra die. Uh yes. You can I mean, take if that. You push, you can't do it both. Though. I already pushed for effect. Yeah. So you I put, don't know you, if I can push for another die too. You pushed for effect. You can do a devil's bargain for an extra die. You can't push for an extra die and do a devil's yeah. bargain for an extra die. And maybe I have that wrong, but I'm going to allow you to have, you take your two stress for the extra effect, which is what you did. And then uh, you can, you can take devil's bargain if you accept one. One would be. And that would be the choice at the end. That would be the hard decision that I've I've given you, or the legionnaires distrust leadership, or something in this category where um, you can take some you can take some level two harm, uh, which happens no matter what because yep. it, all the stuff goes into making it, and you just hurt yourself in the process. Uh, and you guys could throw out devil's bargains ideas too. Um, the I'll, I'll take the harm. I I have I think I have a good like fictional way to frame the harm. If, yeah. if you'd like. Page 24, sure. it says you can't have Devil's Bargain and bon uh, two sources of the same bonus. So, okay. in case of Devil's Bargain and that. So, if he's using Devil's Bargain for one thing and the other, he push for something else that's perfectly fine, it says. Okay. okay. So you can push for effect and then get a Devil's Bargain for the die. Desperate Extreme, extra die. So, I think as like I'm rigging everything up. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm missing like one little like winch or something. And so I have to almost like put my arm in like some rope to kind of hold it in place, knowing very well when the mechanism fires, it, so too does my arm. Oh no. But you know, this is, you know, Shreya's, Shreya's light shines upon me. My, my dedication to the Legion is, is renewed and I am planting a tree under which others will enjoy shade. Okay, mark a level so two harm. I'll, I'll roll. Yep. And finally, um, quit stalling here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. Well, you do it. You do it. You take a level two harm, which is going to be something with your arm. You'll take Broken negative arm. one dice going forward, uh, but not for this roll. But that was, oh, that was desperate. That's, that's painful. Oh, that was desperate. Uh, harm is always a thing, but what else? Delicious and good. Oh, blue biting cone. Severe. Serious. Um, trying to see. <laughs> I love one of the light loads is naive hope uh, for rookies. 
Mm-hmm. I got plenty of it. The guy over there said, oh, he's part. <laughs> I think the old guy was a soldier. what happens is, as you put that together and doing all that, you draw the attention of another horror that's kind of following Whaler. So Whaler kind of goes off after the uh, sees red or will in a minute. We'll just see what happens. And another horror, just a big monstrosity made of all these different bodies stitched together, sees you doing that. And he's like, ah. <laughs> and... You know, your arm is caught in this winch and you have to stay where you are. But now you've yeah. caught the attention of this thing and it's going to be on you in mere moments. So you are in a desperate position, not hurt any further, but you're not alone anymore. So is there any chance to resist that? Oh, I'm sorry. There's always a, you may always resist. Yes, you may attempt to resist. You definitely may resist and it will be under whatever rig was under. So. Insight. Yep, so insight to maybe keep yourself hidden so it doesn't actually see you or draw its attention. So, yes, I'm sorry. Always can resist the consequences unless it was a devil's bargain. Okay. I think this is, should should roll out right. Hey! hey. <laughs> you lose one stress. You get two extra for insight? Um, I get one extra. I get one from my shrewd plus shrewd. one D uh, to insight resist. Okay. And where did that other bonus die come in, I guess? Yeah, there's four. You, so it should be three. Did you click the insight button? Yeah, I hit the insight button. So wow. it added an extra one for... I mean, does a, it automatically add one for shrewd? Yes. If it automatic, then I was redundant. So that's only a six. So. Oh, okay. Man, that would, um, you would have cleared some stress, but that's fine. You took no stress in, I don't know, ducking and making sure it didn't see you, whatever you had to do. And then the horror goes on to crash into a tent or something. So you resist that. You're still up. Now it's time to see what red does. Because if you can successfully lead him there, he'll take five ticks of damage. Well, red is going to get his attention. You know, um, I was originally just going to be like, he runs up and tries to stick him or something. But I, I guess it's go big or go home time. So he's going to use his daggers to climb up like a tent pole or something, just enough to get his body above the crowd. And he's just going to be like, I hate to say it like this, but hey, come get the kitty cat. Nyan, 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 nyan. And he's like smacks his butt and then he just nah, jumps towards the thing. And yeah, hey, boy. that works. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I was going to go for that, but I realized I picked a girl version. I didn't pick the girl. I was like, ah, this would have been better if I said he was a girl. Yeah. Would have been even better that he was a dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, are you, are you striped like the chest side or cat? That's the picture I'm getting here. Red and yellow stripes because he doesn't know if he's supposed to be a cat or a type of snake that's dangerous because red and yellow will kill a fella. Oh my goodness! Okay, perfect. So he doesn't know because it doesn't. He, they don't come with manuals. He just has animal. Features. Should be a shrew since your name is shrew. Yeah, saying they're like a little molish type creature, but whatever. I'm very shrewd. I'm shrewd. Okay. Well, tell me what role you're doing so I know what uh, maneuver. maneuver. Yep, that's all I got. That's the best I got right now. Like I think, know. I think I'll give it a risky standard. Risky standard. But this well, thing, this thing is definitely going to turn, and you might not be able to get down from the tent in time as it comes burling at you. But you are in, middle. you are directly in front of the catapult. So if it even comes barreling into you, it's going to put itself in the position for yep. blue biting to set the trap off. You just got to get at least a you know a four or five. Risky standard. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push for an extra die extra die, yeah that's probably all i, I just want to it to succeed period so i need more dice devil's um, bargain oh no you're gonna push uh i don't want a devil's bargain you guys don't like my devil's bargains tonight come on I, I just don't i i get screwed on them every time <laughs> well you're supposed to that's the whole point mike's mike's gonna take the hard the quote-unquote hard decision oh a six Nice work. He's up there. Nyan, 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 nyan. It's like it gets close to finally. He's like, yeah. it dives off to the it's side. It's like, Aah! 
it's it's actually more like wailing. It's like, it's like wails from nine different oh, heads. Uh, it's always like in this cacophony. This it's in a pitch that that doesn't match because it just grates against your brain and it swings at you and crashes through the tent as you just narrowly avoid it and it stumbles and it like picks itself up like this and looks up and that's when it's looking up at the the catapult thing coming down and it, this thing smashes into the top of its body and the top main head just goes kaplooey and explodes and swords and blades stick in it skewering other heads and it screams on top of wailing but it flails back and it's hurt bad you guys have hurt it real bad it's still up and it still has other eyes and other heads it still looks to come at you but you're still alive nice work this thing doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> if they weren't so big, they would explode it like a melon. Nice shot, old man. <laughs> I changed my accent. Why did they do that? <laughs> Works perfectly. Put everything I had into that move. <laughs> and he's not even phased. He's, he's phased. Partially exploded. <laughs> you just got to finish him off. Grab something heavy here. He's not any more dead than he was before. I call. I, I don't call dibs. I'm going inside there to break them all apart. You. Yeah. Um. Let's let's see. Nucket, Contessa. Yes. You are fighting. You've pushed on dead out of the way. You may have charged in towards the broken. Shreya is suddenly in front of you, and her. You run into her pole arm on either side of her as she stops you. She's like. She's just looking. The ferocity of being this close to her. You just you can just feel that. I don't say testosterone. I guess it would be really more of an estrogen burst, but with with rage in it, and you just you just like it's like this thumping, this reverberation that seems to come from her, like the silver light that shines around here is now just thumping with her heartbeat. It's like it's like listening to an ultrasound. That's what I just did, and uh, like a heartbeat, baby's heartbeat or whatever, and you, it's just pulsing through your head, and you guys are just like ready to charge in and die. That's you, and she's like, and she looks down at you both. She's like, "This is not your fight. Save yourselves." And she char- <clears throat> she charges ahead without even listening to you. Now, obviously, do what you want, but she she goes at and she starts hacking at two of Blighter's images, and she slashes and kills them. They actually like break apart like their blood and flesh and bone, and then they when they hit the ground, they're just like ordinary rotters and she starts pulling out tonics and tinctures and she's spraying herself with stuff she's throwing stuff on the ground and she's throwing up all these smoke screens and effects and just different deadly traps with all these little who's a what's it inventions and and so this is the scene Shreya just seems to be in a fury and just slashing it through everything what do you guys do charge <laughs> I, I, actually I've got an idea so so how many images they pee their pants. Well, there was five. She, as Mary, she took out two, so there's like three images left. There's three images left. And they're all kind of doing the same actions, kind of throwing stuff on the ground? Uh, Yes and no. They're doing their own thing individually, but they're all doing the same types of things. But they're not acting like mere images. They're, they're individuals, right? Individuals. Okay. Do you happen to have a way to set fire or something? Uh, you know what? I do. It's, it's <laughs> funny you ask that. I do actually have an ability to set fires. Because I happen to have some tent, a tent and camping equipment. And I have three tinctures of oil. Ah. So I'm thinking... We'll, we'll combo this. We'll throw the tent over and then light her on fire. <gasps> You know what? That's just crazy enough to work. So right. I have to the voice. You know what? You know what, mate? That's just crazy enough to work. He gets it's fucking crump him. Good, good and proper. Well, let's go after that one, throwing you know tinctures <laughs> on the ground. It's <laughs> in with the tent and burn the stupid broken. <laughs> so I'd like to. I'd like to lead a group action for maneuver GM. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. I, you know, try to sneak up behind her and then just like, th- you know, throw the tent over and try to like spin her around. 
so this is with the ghost owls, right? So you got basically two other yeah. two other rookies with you. Mm. And you're going to lead a group action. Basically, you roll for you and the rookies, and then Nucket rolls for himself. Yep. All right, so it's a maneuver. Yep. All right. Uh, what's the position? Yeah. Um, I would say this is probably the desperate <laughs> limited. Um, be, well, I mean, the, the effect doesn't matter so much because it's kind of a group action along with Shreya. Um, I, almost, I almost feel like you're actually acting independently. Do you want to try to keep doing a group action with Shreya? To try to stay alive yeah, like, better? Like, she, like, like she's like she's still fighting these. We're just helping her try to like pick one off. Okay. Yeah. You know, and who knows? Maybe we'll light the real one on fire. Okay. So you're still gonna. Okay. So I'll roll for those. Jones. I'll roll for these two and see where we're sitting. But you're gonna do a group action. That's gonna be def definitely desperate. I mean, this is your death if if you guys don't yeah. just get a six in your group. Um. <clears throat> uh, desperate, and I guess it would be. I guess it doesn't matter. You can just say standard. But let me roll. Okay. Let me roll for these two as well, real quick here. Fortune, six. I love the casualness in, in how you say that. If you guys oh, don't get a six, you're five. dead. Well, <laughs> I'm also gonna push for like the stress. I'm gonna push too. Oh, There's Shreya! Hey, there it comes. Blighter, <laughs> Blighter rolls a five, and Shreya rolls a six. Ah, five. You, you you pushed. Wow, I'm just not doing anything. And I pushed, yeah. I pushed too. So that's two that's two stress you caused Shreya there, uh, Contessa. I think one more and it might cost her a tick, but we'll wait. I probably should do a tick each time, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be. I, do you, you want to make sure we actually live? I don't I don't necessarily care about that. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, so a five is uh, two ticks, one, two. Shreya's forces, but Shreya got a six, so that's three ticks. So you mm -hmm. were ahead by a point. She just took the lead. So you managed to definitely do that and throw it over, and she starts screaming and slashing and burns up in flame and just kind of ev evaporates. And a, a smaller corpse hits the ground and shatters, and it looks like it was a crow. And crows actually, they actually disintegrate or kind of melt away almost instantly. Just that's just what they do. So as it kind of hits the ground, like the whole black plague mask and outfit just kind of like deflate and melt. Now she only has two images, and it's her two images. They both pull these long, wicked curved daggers that are basically like almost the length of a short sword to you, but they are just like wicked curved really oddly looking daggers and she's got one in each hand for both images she's like it's fine i'm used to it i don't mind going hand to hand once in a while though i hate getting my hands dirty but it'll be worth it if i can get a kiss and shreya's just not having it so nice work let's go back to the whaler battle as we see the it's going to be these two battles i'm to oil this whaler Save the, don't wait. Save the whalers. Wait, no. Shave the whaler. <laughs> oh, you could. What's uh, blue biting cone? Are you still with us or? Blue biting cone is is having a tough. He, <laughs> he's um he hasn't done himself any favors with his last action. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Breaking his arm was a bold uh, strategy. I don't know how useful he is going to be going forward. <clears throat> So that is fine. What's he going to do? Are you going to switch out? If that is an option, then, like, as you see Blue Biting Cone realize that, like, he's given it everything he's got, and, like, he only put a dent in this monster, in this absolute twisted hellscape that is what became of our camp, I think he'll take his first step back. And as um, what's left, I imagine, of um, Whaler, Whaler, uh, like, trudges forth, closing that distance. I think you hear um, in a thick Russian accent calling from behind. And where do you think you're going? As stepping out from behind, um, like, a, a yonder tent is none other than uh, Joster the Toe. Oh. Stubborn as ever. <laughs> Jaster I the toe. The toe. 
the toe. Oh, he's not got any injuries, but he's still. Yeah, no, he's not doing too hot. But um, hey, <laughs> this is this is uh, you know when tough uh, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Oh, speaking of which, did we mark desperate actions? I think Blue Bidey made one. Yeah, oh, I marked I that. Did not. Uh, whoever, I think you guys are the ones that made desperates. Don't forget to mark an XP yep. under the stat. I think Nucket and Contessa both had one. Yeah, I think just one. there. Okay, so I just popped into my head. Because I'm like, we got to do XP after this. we got a lot of XP to do on a lot of characters. We will yes. probably be knocking those out quickly afterwards, but let's uh, let's finish this battle finish. here. So, right. Jaster the Toe and Red Growing Shrew. You guys taking Whaler on all by yourself, but you know what? It's not like everybody's not fighting. Everybody is fighting for their lives. It's pretty nasty. Um... But the thing is, I forgot to mention this too. When Shreya's Moonlight came into camp, it basically, I meant to do, say this earlier, it pushed all the fog away. The fog is gone. As her rage and her moonlit fury came into the camp, it just shone like a beacon. As everyone was encouraged and enraged themselves, the fog just was gone. And the fires like seemed to amp up. And the fires go from being red and low to like higher and silver. So like the silver campfires are burning everywhere. And she's like, yeah, this is the Legion's camp. Get the hell out, please. Um, okay. What's up now, so, guys? The last thing I want to do is overreach. And I know we're kind of not going by the book here um, <laughs> with this mission. Um, It'll happen. I have channels which allow me to basically flash back and, and uh, acquire something. Could I say that while all this was going, Joster was like gathering... A, like a force of people like nearby and they're all you know wet, readying their weapons for a, a volley okay and joster was stepping out here as a bit of a distraction almost we can't move what's up i'll say we can use channels you used one the last mission so that would be your second channels usage yeah it'd be should... my last one okay um yes what kind of I, is this another squad or are these common folk who are they um, uh, it's literally everybody he could grab besides the quartermaster. Of course, he's predisposed. He's a uh, little predisposed in this situation, oh. but, um, you know, the bandits from before, um, a few stragglers from squads nearby and yes, even some, um, some like peasantry and, uh, just passers by who got caught up in everything have now have a, um, find themselves with a loaded rifle in their hands and, um, oh my goodness. a monster to point it at. So you want to have like 10, 15, 20 people that you've gathered to take, shot. take, a, yeah, and take like, a, a volley or do a shot against this thing? Yeah. Like, I guess shoot would be um, the action, right? For them. Exactly. Um, like a, a, a group action. And uh, Joster was just trying to like lead um, Whaler into like the clearing. And I think it's like as that fog starts to roll back, it reveals the um the like 15 or so people behind the barrels and everything some 20 yards off okay uh ooh, ooh. i'll join that group of action <laughs> so you're gonna fun. you're gonna lead a group action for, to uh shoot shoot are you so but you can use marshall i think for this cool i believe right marshall squad or large group of action command attention amidst chaos coordinate fire on the target i believe that's the officer's, officer's specialty, right? But anybody else that would be in the group would use the shoot action. So that would be, red would be using shoot. Mm -hmm. And if you are successful, I feel like you've just upped the scale is what you've done. So this is still, I would say it's going to be... So, a, Marshall first? Um, you are going to be doing Marshall, and, and let's say everybody else was in the group, they'd all be doing shoot, right? But you're okay. going gonna to count for all the 20-so the people. Uh, well, don't forget if the uh, officer leads the shot, you can s prove the scale one or up. One, yeah, up or, no, one exactly. Uh, yeah, scale. When so I lead a group action in combat, you may um, I increase. I can choose to improve scale up or down one level. All right. So let me just look at speed you know, from the front. Sixes from different sources has a critical. Yes, which is huge. Huge, I tell you. If it pulls anybody pulls a six, it's great. That's a great skill. Um, so the scale is <clears throat> you got a large group, a platoon at this point. So you are effectively all scale four, 
while Whaler is in himself he's a, a skip. Right? He's a three. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Whaler's met his match. So how do you want to how do you want to do the scale? Um, so I could either knock his scale down one or ours up one, mm -hmm. as I understand it. Which mm -hmm. I mean, mechanically, it means the same either way. Well, yes, but if you knock his down, that might be less damage that happens to you if you don't roll a six. Okay, yeah, I'll knock his down. Um, we could say it's just like the surprise of mm -hmm. everything being sprung so quickly since he just lost his primary edge. it hesitates and then it sees it rolls back and he starts coming towards you and then the fog clears and it hesitates again as it sees how many people and you have them like in like a half moon arc or something and they're just yeah. like <laughs> right so mm -hmm. i still think this is a desperate uh with you would get your standard effect um i would move it to a great Uh, I would move it at least to, yeah, it would be standard effect. I would move it to, uh, I guess, great because of the scale. Desperate great. But that's two scales, and, right? And then a crit would push that up to extreme. Yeah. I'm going to actually say it's desperate extreme now because you have a scale of two difference. Okay. So you, you can finish him off here. The only thing is if you get only a four or five, he's going to be taken out. You know, some people as a consequence, and then you can resist I that. I roll sixes. All right. Well, <laughs> Dan is doing a dust. Dan is doing uh, a shoot action. You're doing a marshal. Right. Devil's bargains, of course, are distrusting the legion, or the hard decision. I will not take a devil's bargain in this oh, matter. Oh, you suck! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a it's a group action. It, it's gonna be fine. There's a huge group of people. Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm surprised we're doing better on our side over here. You know, I was just about to remark that the fact that. We're fighting the far more deadly thing, and we haven't died yet. Oh, you still got... You guys are... A hey, don't group. worry. Three. I can resist this. So, so you're so uh, desperate, well, right? Well, Joster rolled for himself. I rolled for myself? Or did I roll for the group? You rolled... Uh, I had... He was Marshall. He's doing the group action since he did Marshall. I had him rolling for the group this time. Okay, so... Oh. With, but so still, he didn't roll shoot at all. He just rolled Marshall to make the group. Or something. Yes, and you just rolled for yourself because you're playing that person. But otherwise, both are failures. No, no ticks are happening. Um, and instead, you're you're fortunate that you got your scale up above his, but you're still there's still level three harm coming across to both of you. And um, he's just gonna barrel into you, so it's gonna be like like smashed. Level three harm smashed. And yeah. he goes burling in to the group and just swings. And people just go flying everywhere. And I'm going to say the consequence for this action is um, he kills the group of bandits that you've been trying to train into rookies. Wipes them out completely. And also kills a group of laborers. So you lose a laborer and you lose your long-term project bandits. I'll... um. I'll resist that. There, there's, there's two consequences. So you can well, resist. Only he can resist. So. <laughs> can you resist? I can resist one or the other. Or, no, or both. Resists. Or both. Um, It'd be two separate. Is that two, yeah. two separate rolls? Okay, I'll take the two separate rolls. All right. Now, this was desperate, yeah? Um, yeah, so you guys are both take red and you both take level three harm, which is a separate... Okay. Uh, consequence roll, or you can use armor or whatever to chuck it down. Yeah, again, I can't resist though because I just joined this action. Yeah, so if he can I'm uh, if he doesn't I'm gonna resist this, across the board for everybody. I'm, I, I got this, don't worry. So, who are you doing don't first? Worry. Um, I'll do the harm first, the level three harm for you. Oh, I gotta resist for both of us. So, three resist rolls. So, Dan will take care of his own character, 
But oh, you have yeah. a group of bandits, a group of laborers, yeah. and yourself. So those two groups will get wiped out. The, the resistance roll will be for them to both live, one each. And then for mm -hmm. you, you can make a resistance roll for yourself to take it from three mm -hmm. down to two. And then you can you know, spend armor or whatever to knock it down further if you want. Okay. I'll roll to save the others first. How about that? Yes. Now, remember, if you trauma out, you only save that first one. So you have to tell me, who are you? What's Joster doing with his resolve to protect who first? So, oh, man. <laughs> so so the, I, I'm pretty sure this thing's just charging yeah. um, like straight through Joster. And like he intends to just like barrel through. Mm -hmm. But Joster, that's not his style he wouldn't just let himself he wouldn't get out of the way he wouldn't be barreled over and i think he surprises <laughs> He's, he might surprise uh the whaler as um joster will like lean in and just throw his shoulder and all of his weight right into the center of the mass of of, of whaler and though he's probably got a few hundred pounds on on me uh that's several yes but joster would do he's stubborn Okay, so that's great. Who are you resisting for first? Um, the the bandits and the supply and the labor, right? Or are those separate? They're each of their own group. So yeah, you have to pick which group you want to resist first for. And I only get to pick one. No, you can do them all. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'll do the long enough to do them. All. I'm just telling I'll you, if the labor, if you first, trauma, then. if you trauma out though, because you don't get roll enough stress, yeah. then you're not gonna be able to do yourself or the you take all of that. They take, you know, so you're doing the laborer first. Yeah, I'll do the labor. No, yeah, the laborer first. He doesn't okay. have any. He doesn't have a monkey in this show. The quartermaster's gonna be so mad. <laughs> okay, I think I'm rolling. The marshal gonna be mad. All these people are about to die. <laughs> I should have one more die actually. They um, the rest. <laughs> I love this. I should have one more die. Okay. Uh, can I just roll that straight? Yep. Okay. It's two. So, so you take two stress, which puts you at full, but you yeah. have to go over. You I, I to... need to go over. To yep. take... okay. So you slow Whaler down a little bit. The laborers jump out of the way, but he's still thrashing forward, trying to get you off him. And he goes to crash into... You might be taking the harm here because I think you can now you'll you'll be able to resist and save the bandits as well. He's about to crash into them. If you roll six here though, then you can also you can keep going. Yep, I'll um resist. All right, resist again. Six dice. Um, so like I, I you know I double down. I stick my boots um, deeper down into the mud, the blood beneath the, beneath them, and I uh, I double down. Okay. I get. I don't want you to think I'm like cheesing or anything. I, this is like the perfect storm for me. I have all four resolve boxes ticked. I have, I'm resisting a stubborn ax, um, action and I'm also resisting on a resolve. So I, I get six oh, die here. Yeah, no, this is perfect for you. It's what I'm made for. This is what, yep. I love the cheese. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I, okay, I'm trauma, I'm traumaing out. Whaler stops there cause you're pushing and you're you're level th you're gonna take the level three harm because you can't resist for yourself. Yeah, and it's gonna be broken back because he just suddenly stops and slams down on you and it bends you backwards, almost breaking you in half as your back snaps, and he just smashes you into the into the dust, and then stands back up and just screams and wails, throws Joster aside, who's just, and then the group is just scattering and breaking apart. Red. You have a resistance to make or a damage to take. Well, oh, that rhyme. Yeah. That was perfect. Come I on. can't. There is all I can do is resist. I can't take harm because I don't have armor or nothing because that's a heavy load for her. Rookie. Well, you can still be at level three harm and still be alive. Yeah, but you need help then. So yeah, you have to push I yourself. Go, you I can to... just call it a night at that point. It's the same difference. Mm -hmm. well, I can up? use an armor to take that level three down to a level two, right? Uh, yes, you may. Okay, cool. All right. So say splintered back or something a little bit less severe, but your back is still hey, injured. Oh, slippery gro disc. Growing <laughs> spud. You take you resist down to a level two harm. Do you have armor to use? Or you said you didn't yeah, have any armor to use? I have you? no armor, no shields. I have nothing. So you're just going to get backhanded, I guess, or something to that effect as, as your group gets scattered and pushed away. I did not expect a non-success to come from that group action. I, I 
Let me tell you, I am very surprised about that. Jaster, though. Jaster. He saves everybody. They're going to remember this. Um, <clears throat> make sure they remember this. All right. Here we come back to Contessa. And that other guy, Nucket. And Nucket. This could be the final roll here. Should I roll? Well, you tell me what you want to do, and then I'll start making their rolls. Shreya, Shreya's on now point. That to, now that we're just down to two. So, so reliquaries tend to do bad things. Like, like, do they affect undead at all? They keep corruption from happening. I want to try and stab one of the clones with the reliquary and try to suck out the corruption. Oh. You know, throw her off her game. That's that's creative. What kind of role is this going to be? Is this a skirmish? Uh, I'm thinking either skirmish or maneuver. You know, try to you know you, the same thing of you know <clears throat> stay out of sight and you know I'm not I'm not fighting her. I'm more trying to annoy her at this point. All right, I think maneuver can work. Although that's definitely well, they're both it's going to be desperate no matter what. Yeah. Desperate, probably limited. Not that it matters. You're still doing a group action with Shreya. Right. Uh, Nucka, are you jumping in? You know what? I'm jumping. I've got, a, I've got a, one of those things I can never say. We're gonna, we're gonna bonk some heads. Oh. Crits. That's two, that's win. that's a crit. We win <laughs> somehow. You can roll anyway if you'd like. I'm, yeah, so I'm, I'll, I'll... I'm always gonna do that. Oh my goodness! It's Maneuver. not Blighter's Knight. Position what? Uh, uh, Limited. Uh, what's the position limited there's no okay. limited position yes yeah, you're you're thinking you're right now in desperate limited oh you're desperate ah uh, right. must be something else Positions desperate limited yeah i didn't expect it to go so fast maybe i should have made the clocks bigger but you know what? that's okay because we got to get to the end eventually that's good got a four I think we've done pretty good today. You know, we just we took on the equivalent of a demigod turn. We did. We god. did take on the equivalent of a demigod. And we didn't as die. As a bunch of chuckles. And we didn't die. And also, no one else in the group that charged against this demigod died Died either. Mm. Yeah. Nobody died over here either. Like, I might have rolled the wrong. Nobody. Literally, yeah, no, nobody, no one. This is actually a really... <laughs> oh. we, Oh, Not even the bad guy in our case. This is the best worst day ever. <laughs> I think I rolled the wrong dice for the wrong person, but it's okay. Shreya should have rolled four, but she will still oh. got two sixes. Blighter should have rolled. I was having her roll six. It doesn't matter. I I messed it up. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You guys did great. <clears throat> Tell me how great, man. Yeah, you are, you are. This is great. This has been a great battle. Um, tell me what you do to this clone as you leave it down to Shreya and Blighter. Well, I, I actually think what happens is, is we, you know, in, in our, you know, movements and, you know, everyone trying to, you know, keep keep them, two of them off their guard. Contessa just, you know, she jumps at one of them and stabs it with the uh, reliquary and it starts, and it just instantly breaks because, well, corruption. Oh yeah, but but it's enough. Of, but she hits the right one, and it's enough to throw off the image of the other one and make it shimmer or something. So Shreya, so like the group's able to like shove that one off to the side, be like a crow or something. Well, Shreya just dives the real one as I dive out of the way. Okay. And it's left to these two, and Shred spins, twirls, and stabs her pole arm. Blighter like does the matrix thing underneath and just like comes up and takes one of those wicked looking daggers and she slashes and she cuts Shreya across the arm and just hisses and bleeds this weird purple smoke right out of her wound. And then she stabs her other dagger and catches Shreya like as she's recoiling the pull on goes to one hand. She stabs Shreya right through the hand with the other dagger. Shreya hisses as she steps back and the dagger stays in her hand. And she's just like, no. And she spins the pole arm, stabs it straight ahead, and catches Blighter straight in the chest with a foot and a half blade. And she twists, and her pole arm, actually, the steel, snaps. And it leaves like this much blade in Blighter's chest. 
as they both just stabbed each other. Blighter hisses and steps back. She's like, no. Join me, Shreya. This is, this is our time together, Shreya's, you know, the, the typical, I'll never do this. You will not break me. I will die first. And Blighter steps back as all the monstrosities start screaming and howling as, like, uh, Blighter's affected, like, really wounded. And they just, they all leave. The horrors, the spitters, whatever's left, they come and they start to converge on that position. And Shreya looks around and her pole arm's broken. She just, she has, like, you know, this much spear left and it's jagged. And she just picks up this, the dagger that's in her hand. She pulls that out, arms herself with it. And as the undead start to pile on her and you guys fight them off, some undead are scattering. Some are fighting, and Blighter slips back into a new cloud of fog that starts to rise up around her and disappears into it. Whaler is still on the scene, but looks like he's going to turn tail and run with the others. So, we can call the battle here if you let Whaler go, or there can be a rallying cry and you can take one more shot. It's not going to just let him go. Well, he just got hurt. His first big ops. He's going to take at least one more shot at it. You also you see this commanding officer, this joster. Maybe you respect him, maybe you don't. You don't. Maybe you don't know him very well. Who just gets right. crushed and thrown aside like a ragdoll. It's just like, oh, oh. I, I got backhanded like a ragdoll do, and I'm I'm not having that. Kitty cat wants to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> Meow, you're just a big ball of yarn. Meow. So, so what he wants to do contest. is literally oh. let him run, but try to run up him, because you know he's got the spikes to put more bodies on and all that jazz, and just literally go up his body, just stabbing him and trying to cut open seams that he can find. Okay. Yes, I forgot to say that Whaler is adorned with spikes all over its body that it collects bodies and puts it on himself, stabs bodies on its own spikes to take them for extra parts later on. It's gross. I'm sorry, but it's, it's true. That's what he is. Are you acting all alone here? <sighs> yeah. Mm, mm, if you want help, you got it. Not from... Not from Joster. Yeah, but, Joster. but Blue Biting Cone, uh, having seen Joster's heroics, might find himself uh, reinvigorated. I mean, if you can help, um, I'm just going to lead a maneuver action, though, in that case. If GM is cool with it. Absolutely. Just remember that you have less effect or a less one less die or something. I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It just puts me at disadvantage. I think, oh, you both do, don't you? We both have one less one die. Yeah, one less yeah, dice. Nice. Okay. Um, so group maneuver. Yep. I'm going to push. So it's running away, so I'm going to say it's not desperate, but risky. Risky. Um, I'll uh, wait. I can't push, can I? Yeah, you can. But I, I'm pushing. I'm going to say it's um, risky standard. So that's up to two ticks on this guy. Risky standard. I'm going to push it. Just remember it has threat and scale on you at this point, so it's not just two yeah. ticks of damage. It's it's pretty much death. <laughs> yeah, I know. But okay. it's worth it. Because if I can kill it, it can't kill nobody else. Um, desperate. I'm going to make it desperate. So desperate extreme? Yep. That's for you. And I would willing to take a devil's bargain but i think me dying if i fail this role is pretty much the best i can get the devil's bargain is the hard choice i give the group to talk about mechanically afterwards that affects the entire legion um there's also distrusting the leadership um oh, this is not a leader doing this so just it's 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 the effects of their angry that this has come to pass this attack on the camp yeah, um, um, there, I wouldn't take that. There is a rookie dies somewhere. A rookie dies. One way or another, the one's dying. Well, that would be, this would be, this would be, this would happen no matter what. Um, you don't get to, uh, another devil's bargain is despite the results, because you won't kill him with this, uh, you're trapped on his back. 
So you're going with him unless something else happens. Unless he can be stopped, you're going to go for a ride back into the forces of the undead. Which means you're effectively MIA. Unless... I'll take that one. Okay. Unless someone can bring him down. Because that would be beyond extreme at that point, right? Are you doing... Extreme's all we need. Yeah. No, well, I'm sorry. Well, you went from... Great. I went from limited to great. Yes. You're a desperate great. Is that... Are you pushing for effect then? Yeah, because I took the dice. And so I took... I pushed for plus one die. So I can't take... Devil's Bargain for dice. I think Devil's Bargain are only for bonus dice, so if you took that, then you would push for... Effect. Either way. Okay. So Desperate Extreme. So if if you're successful, though, then you won't get captured, but if not, he's going to run away unless you guys stop him. Either way, this character burns out like a bright light right here. Uh, (laughs) So remember... Remember to subtract one die from your roll? Plus whatever, and Dom, Plus you're doing a maneuver so to assist him or a group action. Holy cow! He did it! <laughs> the madman did it! <laughs> wow! I take one stress because one person failed, and he just—he's not climbing using the spikes. He's using the spikes for his feet, but his hands has got the daggers, and he's literally tearing rivets out of this thing as he's climbing, dead weighting up this body, just. You're wow. not leaving this camp. Ah, it's gross. Ah. <laughs> I think you kill Whaler, don't you? He just. It, wow. It, I think the the best part is it. He lands back on me, and I'm literally dead. He, he like the fight. Everyone's like, "Oh crap! Did he crush him?" And he's just like, Psh, ah, ah. <laughs> "I live. I'm not dead." <laughs> Covered with gook. <laughs> And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wretched, not, wretched not ever. Love like a maniac. <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh, and, and Blue help me. Co- get out of this thing! I'm stuck. <laughs> Blue biting cone will like help yank you out with his one good arm, and you know it's like the classic like extended hand you grab yeah, that yeah. like holds you up, and they'll say, <laughs> so "Young man, I believe I was wrong." Those are big enough to deal with him. I didn't. I didn't ah. blink first. He had no head to keep looking at me. Ah. Oh my goodness! This battle went. S- oh, good. No right on his bio. Finished off Whaler. Uh, yeah, that's probably a promotion right there. <laughs> yeah, we had one more. If if. If I'd have done poorly on that roll, I would have caused myself a stress. And that would have, if he failed, I would have traumatized out. So it was no matter what, I was dying if I failed that roll. Yeah, I was rolling too many dice. Okay. Well, <laughs> unless you guys want to hunt down more, the, yeah, the, the battle no. is, the battle is no. over. No, no. I, I think we've had our fun. Um, I think yeah, running them good. off was the goal, but now mechanically, there's no legionnaire deaths, but there were a few people that died here and there. There's it was inevitable. Like technically, there should be some soldiers that are dead, but we didn't really do that mechanically. So you guys saved them. No one took my hard choice. I was very sad about that. Looking forward oh, to it. I'm sorry, Lucas. Maybe never. Have time. <sighs> I'll keep it in my back pocket for later. There you go. Just hold that. Legionnaires oh, are like cute. chickens. As long as you never name them, you don't miss them when they're gone. Oh. I thought it was goldfish, <laughs> whole, but okay. That whole squad of just rookie. <laughs> yeah. We're oh, like, I, ah, they're the rookies, man. I, I just want to name one of them so bad just to mess with you. And they'd be like, I don't know who named that guy. They did. <laughs> well, the forces are driven off. Shreya's sitting there. Everyone's standing there soaked to blood. I think red is the most red of everything. <laughs> you can't see my stripes anymore. There's melted crows, tons of rotters, several spitters that are down. One other horror maybe was taken down. And then Whaler. It's a very proud moment here is Whaler and Infamous was taken down. And those screams that were wailing in your dreams for those that were part of that, those, those whales finally fade from your mind and your memory. 
as everything goes quiet. Just the crackling of the fire as the silver flames reduce back to red flames and the fires diminish. The fog does not return, though. But Shreya, who's been gone for probably close to a month at this point, and has returned. Her steed comes up to nuzzle. She's just sitting there with blood dripping off arm out of her right hand. Several other nicks and spots. She looks like she's bleeding pretty bad a little in some areas. Her spear is broken. Uh, she's lost her helmet. And she just looks over at Contessa and Nucket. And she's just like, you know... What the fuck were you doing? Well, <laughs> she and she looks down at you, of course, but I can't really... really anyways, and she's like... What? I told you twice to let me have her. But I'll be damned if you're not legionnaires. And she just walks off. Which, by your account, is probably a pretty high accolade for someone that doesn't really talk to even the command staff that much. I'm just going to kind of lean over to Duck and I'm going to be like, I, I'm pretty sure we left Tora. I was just making sure it was an even fight. We won! <laughs> yeah. We're coming real good! And other <laughs> cheers are going up. Yeah. Free booze for everybody! So patiently. I was waiting so patiently for you to finish off things. Like we're like, we won! Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, the person that shuts free booze just gets a gets like a pe like the get the, gets the lid of a barrel to the back of the <laughs> yeah, or, or a mop handle. <laughs> they get to cleaning. I was waiting for that. The Q QM's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead yet. You can't have this. Yeah, it's my oh, stuff, and I'll, and I'll be the one to shout free booze. You you find that <laughs> you, the rumors are true that Blighter actually has the living amongst her ranks because she needs them for doing, doing tasks and work. So as you guys will search camp in the morning, you'll find several wagons that were close that were drawn by horse and human, and they took off. Most of them maybe find a couple people that were just... And they're weird. They're probably their minds are probably been messed with, but you'll find that you'll have. Well, your rewards from this battle, on top of it, will be in these wagons, and we're gonna to get to that in a few minutes. So, congratulations, good work. Let's go. Unless you want to role play, I was thinking we should knock out the XP so we don't forget. Yeah. And we should knock it out. A lot. Now there's gonna be some extra because some characters were played for both this battle and the last battle. Let's go back to last episode for just the dream thing and use those four characters and do their XP individually and then we'll come and then re do their XP plus everybody else's XP for this battle okay just so we keep everything ironed out there's a lot of XP to dole out here so let me get rid of Shreya and Blighter we have Yox, Contessa Nucket and Blue right? Yes. And then so let's go with Yox first you didn't face Whaler technically so the highest threat if we come to that I'm going to look back in a second. So go ahead and you can go through your stuff. You, we all marked desperate actions, right? Yep. Um, Yuck survived the mission, so I'm going to put that in special abilities. Um, he helped his squad a lot through Might and Fortitude. Because that's all he did was mm -hmm. use his fist and punch things. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep putting that in special abilities. He brought into play your heritage or trauma. He doesn't have traumas. What his heritage is tough. Yes. I relied on tough the whole time. I got gumped on by zombie baby real early. <laughs> zombie baby. <laughs> and I just, I just pushed on through. So that's another tick. Highest threat of opponent faced in the first act. Three. Three? Yep. So that was, fills up special abilities. That was zombie babies. I'm going to then put... You know, I'm just going to put two... I'm going to put two in Insight instead of putting it more into Special Abilities. Okay. That way I can try to raise his anchor. The, his anchor can eventually be raised, which will give him more uses of his special powers. Do you want to look over your abilities while we go to the next person and then put him in the chat when you figure out what it is? Or do you know it already? I've usually played the Ox in my career as the guy who just goes in and attacks. I think you probably have that understanding by now. But you I'm going you to put it as Tenacious. Penalties from harm are one less severe. Always a good one. So he's a right. weapon master with tenacious. So even 
even if he got that level one now, it would have been zero. Okay. So I'm going to jump down. It's a little tougher. Sounds good to me. And we'll come back to get more XP for him in a minute. Nucket, let's do your from last time through this time. Now, uh, it, it, since this is still one session, you don't. we're not going to go through the questions a second time for the characters to play all the way through. Does that uh, make sense? Yeah. Okay. But go ahead. So I'd say he survived the mission. I've done all the desperate actions. I might be XP for that. It's fine. Uh... I'd say that he helped his squad through kind of determination, charging in, you know, against the foe that is very clearly much bigger and much badder than he was. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I can't... I don't really know if... I, I mean, I don't have any trauma, so I can't, mm -hmm. I can't say that I brought that in. Uh, you have heritage. But I do have heritage, and I most certainly think that I stayed very pious. And, you know, very much true to my heritage. You know, would you not agree or would you disagree? Oh, I would agree. Perhaps. Yeah, there you go. And uh, what so. was the highest threat of opponent that I faced? Three. Three, three, three for now. You're going to get some more XP in a minute here. Okay. All right. Actually, I think you will do the questions again through if you played them in the second act. So. I did, yeah. But we'll, we'll go through it a second time in a minute. So Only just, yeah. Yeah. Pretty so, much only Yawks won't get a second round. On that. Exactly. Yeah. So Yawks yeah. should be done. done. But I mean, he got to level up, so he's good. So you should have yeah. six XP, I think, to uh, to just six XP to distribute there. Yeah. Let me know if you have a new special ability or put a new pip in anywhere, and I'll jump Sounds over good. to uh, Blue Biting Cone real quick here for the first act. <laughs> the, the old man didn't um, die of old age. I know. <laughs> so Blue Biting Cone during the dream, um, right? Mm -hmm. I survived the mission. Yep. It's nice. Um, <laughs> I helped the squad by staying out of the way or surviving despite the odds. So I'm sorry. I actually remember playing Joster during the dream. You play, you know, you play, you play blue because you and Yox didn't like yeah, each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You, you're. I right. was the only one that played a specialist in the first one. You're tripping. Yeah. I, I was mixing that up with the last mission. Um. I honestly don't remember what I did. So I guess we'll skip that one. Let's call it a wash. You were the one that figured out most of the tricks. Like diving into the thing while I oh, took yeah. most of the damage. Was, you, yeah. spent the first <laughs> two, the you spent the first two dream sequences really brainstorming on how to get us out of the dream. And you knocked down the building on top of the people? Yeah. Yep. So maybe staying out of the way and thinking? Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess that's how I would try to say. Stay out I of the way. still think that. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, he didn't get involved in combat. He stayed out of the way, and he he used his brain. So yes. Okay, and um, if you brought into play your heritage or trauma, I did in the second portion, but I don't think I did in um, in the first. Well, and then uh, per highest level of threat was three. Correct. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, he's um he's a soldier. Yeah, Blue Biting, the soldier boy. All right, I'll let you, uh, you can proceed to level up, and I'll jump over to uh, Contessa. Nucket, did you get any new abilities or anything? Uh, not so much abilities, but I did boost my maneuver. So. Nice. Okay, that's great. All right. All right, so All right. I'm going to jump over to Contessa here. Yep, so... Uh get all my desperate XP, which I got way too much of. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, well. Survive the mission. Uh, I help the squad by surviving against the odds, I'd say. Agree. Uh, don't really know if I played in the first half if I played my her to my heritage or traumas, unfortunately. Did you, use, then, did you use your reliquaries at all? At the end. <laughs> yeah, I know I did it at the end. I don't think I used it in the first half. Oh, the first act. No. I think you were helper combat person. Okay. I was helper combat person. So, and then, so. Yeah. Yep. And then three for the threat. Yep. But well, at least do ding on prowess. Nice. What you going to do? I'm going to put it into maneuver. Ah, everybody's getting quick. It's quick and awesome. All right. Um, that takes care of dream sequence, right? Mm-hmm. 
Let me. Are we ready to jump over to let's say Joster for yeah, round two? So we'll start the questions over for all the characters that participated here. Okay, so Joster, let me. I'm oh, the I was looking at your trauma okay. too because you had to choose a trauma. Ooh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I survived. Yep. I did. <laughs> you did. But you got it. <laughs> it was so close. Um, if you helped your squad through re enforcing discipline or strategic planning, I think I did, but I kind of shoehorned it. I could see it going either way. Well, you did. But, I mean, you was, you exactly rallied the troops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was kind of hand wavy, but. I'll, well, I'll you used your, you technically used your channels to do it. So I think yeah, you're within the rules for that. Character specific thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I uh, play your heritage stubborn and bold. I think I hit both of those. Definitely hit bold. <laughs> Yeah, but you can take an XP for a heritage and an XP for a trauma. Uh, I I just got my trauma, so I don't think I can really hit on that yet, right? I feel like, no, I think you got to be using it or being that yeah, trauma. I'm so, not going to say it until you want to display it yourself. But I would say you at least got the bold out of there and stubborn for one. Yeah, we got the one from that. Okay, and then per highest threat of opponent base, would that be five or three? Uh, you guys are getting five XP because Blighter five. herself was on the field. Yeah, that's... That's uh, an amazing amount of XP. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very sexy. Skirmish? Yeah, I'm putting it in skirmish. I, I'm I'm toss it's a toss up between skirmish and maneuver. Mm. But I, I think he'll take skirm skirmish just for the skirmish. badassery. And then take um, scurvy. He did skirmish with I his shoulder. He did skirmish with his shoulder into Wheeler's stomach. I mean Yeah. It cost him a slip disc, as you put, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely and then I, I, I'll right. dump the rest into resolve. Okay. Can't have that resolve too high as an officer. All right. Joster can go sit down and rest his back. Let's jump. Um, we haven't been done yet at all. Let's go to a Red Growing Shrew. All right. I survived the mission. Okay. Um, if you helped your squad by staying out of the way or surviving despite the odds, yes. Mm hmm. I did. <laughs> Falling to play your heritage or your trauma, um, I don't know. I've got artisan, sh which is rig related, shrewd insight, traveler, which is I'm fast and quiet in a normal mode. I, I think I got that one because I was doing fast maneuvers, climbing up on a pole and just going yah and yah. Here I am. And you climbed up him. I would say that's that's fair. Three, and then highest threat I faced. Five. Five. So that fills me up exactly to soldier. So blue and red have both become soldiers. So you can grow him into a soldier uh, whenever you are ready. Uh, blue biting, you're a soldier now. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and let's do your XP to see how that plays in to your next level. Um, back the biting cone. Oh, oh yeah, unless you're not ready. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I, I'm already setting them up. So we're going through the questions again. Yep. Um, survived that's another xp um and then uh Grenadier. helped your squad through courage or determination uh yep yeah. i'd say courage breaking my arm mm -hmm. firing off the catapult knowing that it was gonna happen right yeah um if you brought your heritage or trauma heritage i would say um the insight resist was shrewd, but then also artisan. I think just you know working on a catapult mm -hmm. in the mix of battle. I think, yeah, that hits. And then per highest level of threat faced is five more. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, I've maxed out rig. Hmm. Okay, oh, yeah, Matt. You took artisan. <laughs> I think. So. I think you can go to four. Uh, one second here. <laughs> with, you can go artisan. to three unless you have the thing to go to four. He does. four I have artisan, artisan, you can go up to four rig. Oh. Uh, it's a uh, panyard tree. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. No, oh, that's perfect yep. then. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, uh, oh, man. Min Max character. <laughs> He's a rigger. All right, love it. All right, blue biting cone. The, go, he that rigs and he wrecks. That's all he does. <clears throat> Mike, let's get Contessa through again. So, uh, survive the mission, yeah. I think she did at least. So far, so good. Physically. <laughs> uh, help the squad by uh, surviving despite the odds, yep. 
No questioning that. Um, about to play your Heritage or Trauma, this one I think I'd get 2 HP for, specifically because I went with Pious and, uh, Educated, because, uh, Pious for Reliquary, and then Educated for knowing that Reliquary is good against, uh, or good against stopping corruption. That's true. Uh, but you get 1 XP for Heritage and 1 XP for Trauma. Oh, 1 Heritage Trauma. Yeah, no, man, I don't have Trauma, so. Yeah, so you still get 1, but you still definitely get the 1 overkill there. And the then I get 5. Right. And then you still get, then you still get five. So don't worry about it. Uh, so do, ding and a half. So you've now become also a soldier. Indeed. So Contessa Red and Blue. All right. Wow. I'll let you promote and then knock it. So Let's get you right. taken care of. So survive the mission. Uh, I'd say that I helped the squad through courage or determination. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. I was a brave boy, right? I was a very brave boy. <laughs> um, I stabbed a bitch with a reliquary, which I think is quite pious. <laughs> I'd argue that's quite pious. Okay. And um, highest set of opponent faced? Five. 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 <laughs> so that is one, two, three, eight. eight. Not bad. Where, where are you going to put it? Ah. I'm going to put it all into my special abilities. I think this guy's... And a, then get a thing. He's going to be a soldier for life, isn't he? I mean, the thing is, I don't want to be a soldier for life. I don't know how else to then get We're not taking the it. other thing. I, I I don't have to, like, move on. You need a certain amount of do certain things. Well, also, I don't have to also you have to... Mark one special ability of the appropriate type and rank of... The, and rank, uh, mark one special ability of the appropriate type and a rank of the starting specialist action. So basically, there's an example in the book, but if you go to the book's pages for the specialist, you see like like the officer, it has one pip in channels, which you ignore because that's his special ability, which you automatically get, but he has one pip in discipline, two pips in sway. If you have that as a soldier, you can then promote as an officer. Because you, you right. need to have the, the pips that they start with. I feel like this guy is more of a heavy, but... Yeah. The I would heavy argue he's not the heavy. two skirmish, one wreck. Uh, well, the I one. have. <laughs> you, you do have two skirmish. Is that two... Is that, in two right, is that two pips overall or two pips past the line? Two pips total. Total. Okay, well, he's already got the stuff for skirt, for heavy so, legs. It's, yeah, he's got he, his two he, pips and skirmish one pip, right? Yep. So if you have that, if you leveled up on your special abilities, you could pick specialist training and become a heavy. You know what? And, and that's if you... My man, Nucket. Okay. Um, uh, I might I might do that. That sounds like a good idea. Yox is our, one of our last heavies, but he is... <laughs> He's on his way out. You guys have... You would have three heavies then. But yeah, soldiers get worn out. So if you do, you would just click that the pip at the second to bottom there, specialist training, mm. and then it will probably have to, you promote, and then you'll you mark you to pick another ability off the hit mark, sheet. Yeah, because once you pick promote, you'll select what you want to promote as, and then it will rebuild I'll your sheet as a heavy. Oh, it even blurps them out. Right, I see it now. Okay, yeah. so right, yeah. No, medic's hard to promote into. Mm -hmm. Yep, it takes all kinds of pips. And you need That's a medic. Dedication. <laughs> we need medic. I'm gonna need a medic. I was gonna tell you, Mike, a long-term project. You could do a long-term project to create a specialist. That's always an idea. Oh yeah, yeah, no. I I want to I, I want to finish up the one the, the the stuff we have right now. We don't we don't need specialist. It's just proven. All right, never mind. All right, so Nucket <laughs> is now a specialist. He is a heavy. Very nice. So, Very nice. You and then do I then pick a things in the special abilities for the heavy, or is that just done? Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, mark one special ability and rank of the starting specialist. Nice. So you got one point in anchor. That's that's his the tank heavy specialist, and then any of the new traits that are on your sheet, you can pick one of those. He's got one in gray. He does. There isn't one called anchor. It's it's up top right. It's a very top one on insight. Yeah, it's... Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you already get that. What does Anchor do? Uh, uh, while Anchor's... on a mission, you may spend Anchor. 
It uses to fight as a small group. This means you can face groups of yep. lesser undead without loss of effect. So you could take on like six or seven undead as though you were like the same scale or size as them. Yep. Oh. So you just go crazy and just like, yeah, I counter seven plug. people. Yeah, you create plugs in the line, basically. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't you want you anchor the line. So Nucket is going to be leaving whatever squad he's a part of and going into the specialists. So he's going to be pulled from I'm that, leaving my brother. Which means the which means there's going to be the marshal's going to have to start he's, he's got ghost owls mm -hmm. who are down by 2 and shadow lions will now be down by 1, which means some squad combining is going to have to start happening. Ooh. That'll be up to the marshal to rearrange. I'm going to move Nucket though up into the specialists right now. Star vipers are full. Ember Wolves are full. Green Ravens are full. So you have three full squads. Silver Stags and then three incomplete squads. Marshall's got some... Well, oh, yeah. That'll be up to you. How do you want to move them? But I would like to know what you do when you do it. Um, so I get you get to take also one special ability, right? Yeah, I'm looking at the moment. All right, so... That was pretty much our whole time. We'll go, <clears throat> if we want to, just because we can know what will happen, we can resolve the secondary mission. I think is next on the list, and then we didn't get quite as far, but this battle was actually pretty fun, and I'm glad that we all did it. Um, got some good XP, and I have some rewards for you as well. I'd love to give yeah. you the rewards now, but maybe I have to make you guys wait till next time. <laughs> Depends on if you really go, Lucas, we want to know what we get. Come on. It's up to the group. I'm good. I got till 11. <laughs> well, I will not step that late. Um, <laughs> don't just do it. No. Um, so technically, we played the primary mission. We did all the XP. We'd make the engagement roll to resolve the secondary mission. Let's just do that real quick. Because the it was the Grinning Ravens weren't even there, correct? Yeah, right. That's the ones that went on the mission. And, and the Sniper the, Adorna are out. It was a... Exfiltration, so it's a recon mission. So let's ask the questions and roll the engagement. And I know this was assets of plus one intel. Oh, you get an asset and plus one intel, I think it is. Penalty is two deaths, which in this case was supposed to be Nucket and Macket. But since Nucket just went to heavy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I forgot I kind of tied them in. Yeah, he Just did. Make things more intense. Mm-hmm. So we might want to make this one count, eh? awkward if they didn't go. Like, yeah, did so I, let's, I let's, um, let's roll somewhere. well here. They, they didn't necessarily go on the mission, but it's going to cause their death. But I don't want Nucket. Oh. Now that uh, users put so much time into Nucket, we might be able to spare him. But Nucket might die. No, Nucket. Anyone but Nucket. Your, your brother might Nucket. die. I know. I'm, I'm okay. gonna. So, damn you. Engagement. Um, do, are we going through the questions, or did we already go through those? We have not. We will do it now. Okay. Um, all on the mission are oath sworn to the legion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus one deed. So we're at one. Did the commander spend intel to give you foresight and info? I think he did. That's up to the commander if he hasn't, if he even has intel to spend. Let me check. Check my sheet. I don't know if we have intel. Uh, I don't have any. Yeah. Let okay. Me last mission. Is everyone on the mission a specialist or soldier? No. Does any legionnaire distrust the leadership or not fear them enough to obey orders on the battlefield? Also, no. So that's actually a good one to say no to. Mm -hmm. And our required specialists or equipment not on this mission. Um, our, I think, scout or no sniper was on this mission, and so we Correct. were covered. So yeah, one and dice right now. Yeah, and it's a supply or recon. Recon. Recon mission. Yep. Okay. So scout or sniper. Um, did the quartermaster spend horses? I think I gave you guys horses before. I think you did too. So is that another? Is that's two D now? Mm -hmm. Is any legionnaire starting with heavy load? Um, or NPC? So you just get to say that. Yeah. Michelle. So no. <laughs> uh, no. Why would I say yes to this question? So we're at two D six. Oh, so having heavy load would take him down and die, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's that affects more us if we go on a mission. <clears throat> one of us is always dumb enough to go. I'm going heavy load. So, Marshall, you should have a special. Uh... Yep, engagement with two dice. I'll roll that now. If you do, if you if you want me to. That's yeah. Let's find out. With with bated breath. With hey, yeah. love. Six. Oh my god, that was so close. A six. If you succeed the mission, all specials take level one harm. You may choose to lose two squad members to promote a rookie to soldier. We'll keep all the squad. We're pretty battered. We uh, you, you, we've had some good promotions. All right. Man, so if that had critted, that'd been so sweet. So what you so you went after this fanatical religious leader that had ties to Nucket and Nucket, Nucket and Nucket, and he had to be exfiltrated because he was starting to spread rumors and preach his his damnable uh, preachings out there, and it was bad. So. You had to exfiltrate him, and in the going, he he didn't go quietly, and he pulled out his ritualistic dagger, and he stabs the sniper she's trying to confront him. So she gets level one harm stabbed, if you want to throw that on there, Marshall. And yep. then he has to be put down, I'm assuming. Well, you guys tell me, did you exfiltrate him alive or dead? <laughs> I feel like if he got hostile, um, my personal opinion, if I was one of the guys there, I would try to stab him back, but... Marshall is ultimately in charge of that statement. Um. Well, Adorna was out there. Who made Adorna? Me. No, Lucas's copy. Oh. Okay. So she's a wild card. Um. Adorna is described as tough and loyal. So I don't think Adorna would have killed him. Because Adorna knows he has some tie to the Legion. Right. Uh. He just had. He had information on Mackett and Nucket that could, if got out, could be damnable to them, could endanger yeah. their lives. So they had she's, to. They she's had, tough and loyal. I don't think she'd, um, you know, kind of outstep orders just because she was stabbed. Come on. So this guy. He stabbed friends all the time. He's a zealous cult leader. So he becomes then a prisoner of the Legion that goes along with you. Right. Cool. That can't possibly come back to haunt you later. Exactly what, you know, Cult I mean, leaders are was, great uh, allies. I know, I know what he was uh, preaching. He puts the milk before the cereal. Oh, <gasps> death! <laughs> Heathen. She's um, a witch. So, do you, well, we'll pretty much be calling it there. We did part three, so we'll be starting on mission penalties and rewards next time at part four. So that'll be the mission penalties and rewards that you guys get in general, which for, let's remind us for this one. So you guys will get an asset and a plus one Intel. I might have you roll randomly for that, Mike. We'll see. And then for the first mission, you got uh, plus one morale, plus one supply and alchemist, ether Magnus. So we will mark those next time. We don't have to mark them now, but I will ask you, are you curious to find out what stuff you guys get from this battle, or do you want to wait till next time? Let's wait. I like let's wait. The suspense. That's a vote for wait. Let's vote for nah. Wait. No, no, let's hear it, man. Let's hear it. Well, I gotta go, so that's fine. Oh, well, then let's oh. wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My wife just called an audible. All right. That's fine. You know what? That's perfect. I made this chart just the other day, and I'm gonna let it sit because it's gonna be good. So the Legion's going to come out on top on this with absolutely nothing bad besides a few stress, a trauma, and Gross. some some harms. But Quartermaster's going to patch them all up. So thank you for joining us tonight. That was an excellent battle. I thought it would be a lot more death than dismemberment. Uh, but I'm not going to be too disappointed because it was still a great battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Joster got ran over pretty hard, and uh, that was a, a pretty nice scene. But I do like Joster, so I'm glad he's alive. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I'm Lucas. I'm going to round tree these guys or round robin this real quick. We'll do some shout and then we're going to get out of here. So I'll start with Joster so that he can t start taking us home here. All right. 
Yo, what up? It's your boy Dom. I run a show here on Lucas's channel on Sundays called The Song of the Bone Kings. We play a game called Chasing Adventure. We start at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you ever want to see a little bit more of me, well, come check us out. It's fun. It's fast. And, um, well, it's got Lucas's name slapped on it, so it's even better. <laughs> so, um... Also, I run Dom's Dungeon Tavern. Um, if you ever want to uh, get in there, well, uh, message us during one of these streams. I'll get you the link. I run one shots out there. I got one coming up on Tuesday. It's going to be spooky. It's going to be fun. So um, with that being said, I'll pass it right on over to a uh, ghost. Hey, Soundwave's ghost. I played Yox and Red Nine Shrew. Red Growing Shrew. <laughs> growing, <think>. not Nine. <laughs> red Growing <not> Nine. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, yeah, those were two of my people to this this overarchy little fight. Normally, I'm the commander or the lore keeper. I'm, we gotta redecide how, how that's gonna work out going forward from here. But um, I used to run Alien RPG on this channel, which I'd pull it out, but I've actually put the boxes away, so I'll shut off. But Free League Publishing, give them a look. They have cinematics and stuff like that. that if you don't have time or want to come up with characters for the world, and you want to run through it real fast. The cinematics they create are not free, but they are immensely fun. And it tells you how to do everything. You basically just pick it up and run. Um, other than that, I am working on a couple more games for the future. Most likely will be in the spring after the holiday season's over before that will kick off. But that's details are pending for people that might be interested in it. One of them is Fallout related. It's not subtly behind me. The only reason I don't have the helmet out is because the helmet's really big and falls over. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's in the works. So we'll see how that turns out, and hopefully folks have fun, and I, I will have fun running it. Because I have never had as much fun running anything as I did Aliens, and I've run a lot of systems over the years for friends, and Aliens just turned out to be so easy and so much fun to run in equal measure, despite the fact that people claim that I took it way too easy on my players. <laughs> Over to the man who piloted the real MVP, as far as I'm concerned, Nugget on my screen. Oh. <laughs> who, me? I gotta go. I'm the MVP? Never. So, I'm user. I, I, I don't have anything to shout. They all have far more interesting lives than I. But, yeah. It's been uh, good to be here, guys. Thanks for, thanks for having me. No problem. Always a pleasure. Thank you for being here with us. And Mike usually shouts out some Robotech stuff. So you'll just have to come back Tuesday of next week because we'll be doing Robotech every week now instead of every other week until the campaign is finished because this is our end of our season three and end of the campaign. And then in the spring, we plan to come back with a new Robotech campaign as it's been very popular and much loved. And with a lot of new content, a lot of new books come out. And I know the uh, Kickstarter just ended for a lot of that stuff. And Mike actually, Haruka Junka here, is actually been a writer for a lot of this so he's actually involved in the writing and the production of the role-playing game itself yeah that's right we got one of the head guys here with us did you know that you didn't well i did i just found out not too long ago but anyways lots of good art so thank you for that support us here follow like subscribe spend money throw it at us dollar dollar bills like this and thank you for being here come back sunday for the song of bone kings robotech next tuesday and then next week thursday for dungeon and dragons the yawning portal campaign as we continue there finally almost at the end of our first module it's only gonna take 20 sessions to do it but we're gonna do it in about 15 characters so anyways we're gonna get out of here now we'll see you guys in two weeks thank you for being here thank you for being with us we appreciate it we love you have a good night. God bless. Good gaming. And also, happy Veterans Day. We'll see you later. Thank you.